Um, we've caught a young potteroo today, a young at heel in the same trap as its mother. So it doesn't have a microchip. It's one that's been born in the Norman's Beach enclosure. Here we are at trap number 10. Where they've held on to the adult female and the young at heel potteroo for us. This is it. They're all young at heel and potteroo. It's got to be a careful that neither mum or the young at heel escape. Don't want them to get separated from each other. Thank you, Ken. If you could please hold on to that bag to the top. Absolutely. This is very exciting. Catching new individuals. It's a good work, female potteroo. Three hundred and sixty grams. So I'm gonna take some ear tissue first. Sorry about your beautiful little ears. There we go, there's one. Two, perfect. Okay. There we go. A little bit of tissue glue. And then the really nasty things are over. There we go. So that just seals up the hole, stops any dirt or sand getting in, causing infection, and also stops the microchip from tracking back out. Right, now we'll take her measurements. You can just see the pouch there. A nice virginal pouch. Never been used before. Okay, so her tail length. One hundred and fifty-four. One five four. Yes. The pairs, and you can see her feet are nice and soft, still pink. So she's really only just starting to find her feet in the world. Pez is 57.4. Fur coming out. Ears are clean. Tiny, two tiny little ticks on her right ear. Do you want that under parasite or ears? Um, parasites is yeah. fine, thank you. Um, for eyes, if you just put C O N J, and that's short for conjunctiva, is pink. C O N J, pink. Has got a TPM M1. Okay, clean size was there. Um, no I3 or K9. I'm going to um, process mum as well. And then once I've finished her, they can go back together. And what I'll do is I'll just leave them in the bag together, find a nice bush, um, and leave them so they can sort themselves out and come out when they fail feel safe to do so. So head length is 
58.9. So this is a young at heel female Gilbert's pottery. That doesn't want to be held in front of the camera. Don't blame her. Very cute. Okay, let's put you back in the bag so we can have a look at your mommy. F9. F for Fred, nine. 910 grams. 228 for the tail length. Um, if you put orange mites and ticks in a thighs. And we have another little miracle. She has a pouch young. Wow. Little pinky pouch young. It makes me very, very happy. Head width is 8.0. Still attached to the teeth. I'm just going to see if I can tell what sex the young is. Back in for now. Let's see if I can, I don't like them to dry out too much in the, in the open air because it's such a moist environment in there. Mm, there we go. Uh, it's pretty small, I think. It's going to be a female. She's doing it for the girls. This is a front paw with those remarkable claws for digging up truffles and then on the hind foot that syndactylous toe that we saw on the quenders one toe two toenails for grooming that's the point where you're going to get bitten it's now that's a girl She's got all adult teeth. Her teeth are quite worn down, so she's in the older, older age range. Um, once we go back to the office, I'll be able to look up the database and tell exactly when she was first caught, what age she was first caught, things like that. Head length is 83.3. Thank you. In there. I'm going to put her back in the same bag as her mum. Yeah, very sweet. That young one was maybe a couple of weeks old, the one in the pouch. Yeah, so I'll find somewhere and um, just untie the bag and try and unfold it behind them. But not so that the mum takes off without the young one. It's really tricky. But uh, generally, it'd be nice to try and get them back in the pouch, but she's too large and there's no way she's getting back in with another one in there. So I always worry about it now until the next morning, just in case the um, young hasn't managed to find its way out of the bag. But that's all we can do. Time will tell. Fingers crossed. Mother Nature just blows you away every time. It really does. So special. <laughs>